Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time of the hour when you're watching this show, this is Beholding Christ show, which comes to you every Thursday from 9.45 p.m. here on Wema TV. And my name is Ben Fetcher, and I am so much blessed. And I am reigning in Christ by one man, the man, Jesus Christ. This is one of the best shows that are happening around here. And uh, the reason I say it's the best, one of the best shows is because we have one purpose. We have one message. We have one agenda. And our goal is one, to make sure that we show you Christ. Because there is no way for you to know you until you know Christ. Every human being is trying to look for a purpose, trying to look for an identity, trying to understand themselves. But it is impossible to know you until you know Christ because God's definition of you, listen to this, God's definition of you is Christ. So it is until you see him that you know yourself because the Bible says in 1 John chapter 4 from verse 17 that as he is, so are we in this world. Stop looking for yourself. Start looking for Christ. And as you behold him, you are changing to the same image because you are just like him. This is our second episode uh, with the, our wonderful guest, that is Samuel Onyango. And uh, before I introduce him again, I want us to pray so that we can start it all. Father, we are so delighted, we are so thankful this day that our lives are being transformed by your word. For your word is active and it is sharper than any two-edged sword. We thank you that your word is working in us and it is working in us both to do and to will according to your good pleasure. And uh, my God, as your word is revealed to us, our minds are being renewed and as our minds are renewed, our lives are transformed because we are transformed by the renewing of our minds. I thank you for my uh, listeners and my viewers tonight. I call them blessed because in Christ, them, in Christ they are blessed. Lord, I declare that this session, Revelation Knowledge, will flow freely unhindered. And everyone under the sound of this voice will know the perfect will of God, which is only established in Christ. I thank you that we have the tongue of the landed, to speak in this season. We thank you, Lord, and we worship you because you are a good father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen and amen. So, my brother, yeah. Samuel Onyango, <laughs> Karimbu sana. <laughs> yes, maybe you can say hi to our viewers today. Hello. Uh, stay tuned for more grace. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. There are some people who did not watch the last episode. Mm. Introduce yourself. My name is Samuel Nyango, as Ben has said. Uh, I'm a friend of his. It has been a long time since we are friends, and uh, we are here to preach the gospel and to tell mankind how loved they are in Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah. And on your behalf, I say hi to all people from road to a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we are here for the word. We thank God. In our last episode, we were talking about how salvation is by grace uh, through faith and not of works, lest any man should boast. So in this thing, there is no room for boasting. And if we can boast, we can only boast about Christ. Mm -hmm. And what he has done for us. And what he has done for us. Because even if we were given a million years to work for this thing, it can never, it can never happen. And, uh, you know, uh, we, we were talking in our last episode and we talked about when the disciples asked a question to Jesus. And I, I believe that that question they asked on behalf of everyone in this world. <laughs> what should we do to do the works of God? And uh, when Christ came, he came to show them that what you think is the works of God is your own works. <laughs> and, and it for does not <laughs> for your own boasting yeah. but uh, because I don't want you to boast about yourselves and it reminds me of Isaiah he says that all your righteousness all that which you call your righteousness as a, a product of your own works God calls it and sees it as fill the rags fill the rags that's serious <laughs> that's a very serious one <laughs> yeah. all the prayers all the you know all the devotion all, everything Holy, yes. Holy things that we're doing. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, because it does not meet the standard of God. No man has the ability to meet the standard of God. Only one man, Christ Jesus, on our behalf. You said he fulfilled everything. everything. In, the, in the law of Moses, uh -huh. in the prophets, uh -huh. in the Psalms. That is what now, you know, and, our able apostles would say. Yes. Uh -huh. And he established for us a righteousness. More better covenant. Yes, a better covenant. Mm -hmm. And uh, in our last episode, we left at the place where we were reading. It was in, in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, mm -hmm. verse 6. Uh, from verse 6. Okay, it says, who also made us, but we can start from verse 5, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think of anything as being from ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God, who also made us sufficient as ministers of the new covenant, mm -hmm. not of the letter, but of the spirit, for the letter kills, mm -hmm. but the spirit gives life. So with the coming of Christ, uh, he brought in a new covenant. Yeah. And he says, <laughs> the letter, what does he mean by the letter? of all, mm -hmm. before we talk about the letter, uh, not even the letter, uh, the, the, the new covenant, yeah. first of all, we need to talk about the, the person to whom the new covenant is being given to. Mm -hmm. uh, Second Corinthians 5, mm -hmm. verse 17, Yes, this is who we are now, after yep. believing in Christ, this is what you are called in God. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, mm. the word any man is the very word that is used in John 3, 16, mm -hmm. whoever, whoever mm -hmm. believes in Christ. That is the very word here. So, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, things are become new. Mm -hmm. And 18, you say again, uh, and all <coughs> things are of God, who yeah. has reconciled us to himself by Christ Jesus and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. 19, uh, to wit that God was in Christ was in Christ, mm -hmm. reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses upon them, and, ha and had committed unto us the word of, of reconciliation. reconciliation. Yeah. So, uh, in Hebrews back again, mm -hmm. uh, uh, in Corinthians 3, Verse 7, mm -hmm. but if the ministry of death written and engraved in stones was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for the glory of his constance, which glory was to be done away with. Mm -hmm. And you realize that all things have become anew, mm -hmm. all things have passed away. So the ministry <coughs> of the law, yeah. it was not a perfect ministry mm -hmm. because in it, you find out that man was not living his best of life. Mm -hmm. Because everything else was centered upon man. It was upon man's behavior. Mm -hmm. It was upon man's you know, heart mm -hmm. to see to it that he follows each and everything written in the law to obtain perfection. Yeah. And then after that, the perfection could not even be obtained because again, in Hebrews, as we look into later, we see that in the case of sin, Okay. Yeah. A sacrifice had to be offered once each and every year. Yeah, yeah. For the remission of the <laughs> 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 So it it could not have even be enough. Yeah. It was just for covering. Mm -hmm. It was not for taking away. So all that yeah. tedious work all could never take away. Could not it was just covering. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just a covering. Come for an you're walking with an umbrella, it covers you. But it was not a permanent solution for man. Mm -hmm. Because in it, you know, there was no glory at all. Yeah. It was just a fading away glory. A mm -hmm. glory that was not sufficient on its own. Mm -hmm. And that is the very reason why Christ had to become our lamp. As the word would say, the, the lamp of God that taketh away the sins the sin of the, of the world. world. Before the foundation of the world. Yeah. That is how God planned it to be. Mm -hmm. That is how it has always been. But because of the hardness of man's heart, mm -hmm. the law had to come. And then they had to go through all that roundabout and, you know, and corners. And, and, and still it could not do anything. So no wonder, no wonder Jesus says in the book of Matthew that, uh, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Because according to the description of what you've said of the, old days, the Old Testament, 
you've talked about uh, how they used to offer sacrifices. So first, even before they offer sacrifices, what was required of them was perfect obedience, perfect fulfillment of the laws that were given. Yes, to the latter. And, and, and no one had the ability to do that. So they were given an option of sacrifices. Again, they had to, <laughs> you know, they had to offer sacrifices. It looks like, uh, you know, these days when people are rearing and keeping cattle and keeping goats and keeping uh, sheep, they keep them maybe for Christmas, for food or for business. Yes. But in those days, they had to keep them for, <laughs> for sacrifice. Sheep. Sheep. <laughs> you prepare your own goat. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not just all about preparing the goat. Uh -huh. it's, it, it, it's not about just having a goat. Uh -huh. The goat has to be blemished. Not just any other goat. It had goat. to be pure. It had to, you know, how many years? Three years. Right? Yeah, yeah. It had to be of pure breed. So there were instructions even what kind of a goat to offer. You don't just go with a goat. You take a goat so that it offers. And now after all that work, you say that could not attain not, perfection. Not even half. <laughs> <laughs> Just for covering. Oh, this is it. You have offered the goat. Let's let's cover the sin for another one year. Let's meet again next year. Mm -hmm. okay? mm. Wow, interesting. And you say that uh, uh, the new covenant, there are, some, there are people who are given the new covenant, the new covenant, and now you took us to 2 Corinthians 5.17, that if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature, the old is gone, and the new has come. So, the new creation, the new covenant. The new covenant. Uh -huh. With new ways, with the... new regulations and all that, mm -hmm. which has absolutely nothing to do with the old covenant. Okay. Yeah. Now, which ways, which regulations? First of all, the issue of sacrifice it was done away with. It is done. Because Christ, the perfect Lamb of God, came. Mm -hmm. Died for us once for all time. Mm -hmm. Hebrews would say that he offered himself once for all time. So the issue of sacrifices, we are done with it. Mm -hmm. The issue of, of you know following the laws to attain righteousness from it is done again mm -hmm. because Christ Jesus is our righteousness. Yes, as the apostles would say. Yeah. So, but we see some people who still offer sacrifices for things. What do you mean by sacrifices? Is it animal sacrifice or money sacrifice or what kind you know, of a sacrifice? Yeah, nowadays it has, it has taken another step. It's no more cows. Because now if they see you offering a goat and shedding blood, well, let me show you. You see, you see no ethnic group in our Kikuyu, our Kikuyu nation. Yes. They're still offering goats. And then they eat the meat, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that meat was not eaten. It was just offered. And then burned. So that is not <laughs> even a sacrifice. Eating the meat. <laughs> so the meat is not going to waste. <laughs> so it is good. <laughs> uh, and it has nothing to do with God. Nothing to do with God. So no one should offer a sacrifice thinking that, that it has something to do with you God. See, even in Hebrews, the writer of Hebrews continues saying that in this offering, in these sacrifices, mm -hmm. these offerings, God desired them not. Mm -hmm. He didn't want them. It is man who thought that this kind of a God that we have is a God who can only be pleased with blood. Mm -hmm. So they, they were offering blood, okay? Yeah. To think that they can please God with blood. Mm -hmm. But God has always been pleased with us in Christ mm -hmm. since the foundation of the world. Okay. Yeah. You say he has been pleased with us in Christ since the foundation, since of, the... The foundation of the world. But we see Christ appearing in Matthew. What about the others? Was he there? <laughs> you know, a time, th there was time period. Mm -hmm. The law came to serve its purpose. Yeah. The prophets came to announce the coming, mm -hmm. the coming of the Messiah. Of yeah. okay? And that also had to happen. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the scriptures must be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. As Jesus would say, all these things have to follow a pattern. Mm -hmm. uh, it was man being prepared. Because now, assuming straight from Egypt, Okay, straight from Egypt, they are coming from Egypt, and then here comes Jesus to them with that kind of a mindset that they had from Egypt, and then they, they it, it could have been a very very big calamity for them because now the things that you are talking about here, their spirit, as you are reading Second Corinthians three, yeah, their spirit and life. Mm -hmm. There is no more letter here that killeth; okay. it is only life and life in Christ Jesus. Amazing. I hope you are still following us and uh, it's getting interesting. Now, I want us to go into the new creation now. Who is this new creation person? New creation person. Mm -hmm. First of all, let's talk about all the things that this new creation has. Mm -hmm. Because 
what the new creation has will really show you the kind of a person he is. Mm-hmm. Because you can, I cannot talk about you, Ben, if I don't say to describe who you are. Yeah. Ben, Ben is this, this, this. Okay. So to know very well who we are and, and whatever things that we have in as the new creation, mm-hmm. let's go to Ephesians 1. Apostle Paul lays all of them down here. Mm-hmm. Ephesians one. chapter 1. Yeah. Paul, an apostle of Jesus, by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, to grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Blessed be the God of our Father, Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us mm-hmm. with all spiritual blessings in him in the heavenly places. Yeah. Us. When the Bible talks about us in this particular place, it's talking about the new creation one. Okay. So Paul wants to explain unto us who is the new creation one. Mm-hmm. And what, what he has. What does he have. Yeah. So in verse 4, having predestinated us unto the adoption of the children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise and the glory of, uh, of his grace, wherein he has made us accepted. Number one thing you need to know as a believer, you have been accepted in Christ. Mm-hmm. Nothing attached to it. You have been accepted. By the virtue of you being in Christ, you are accepted. Uh, accepted in the beloved. And we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Two, you have been redeemed mm-hmm. from sin <coughs> by his blood. Mm-hmm. And you have forgiveness. The forgiveness that you're talking about here, Ben, mm-hmm. not a temporary forgiveness, mm-hmm. not a momentary forgiveness. That today you have gone in church and praised God and, and, and went to the altar and the hand is placed upon you and then you are forgiven. No, no, no. We are talking about a forgiveness that starts the very minute you believe. In Christ. In Christ. Yeah. For all eternity. Mm-hmm. There is no going back. Whether you sin in the process after believing in Christ Jesus, the word says, you have forgiveness of sins mm-hmm. wow. according to his riches. Mm-hmm. That is what the word says. As simple as that. So it's not like uh, this in, uh, This forgiveness is given in installments. Mm-hmm. It's once for all. Once for all time. And it looks like it's everything that he's mentioning here. Not just forgiveness, even this redemption. Even redemption. Mm-hmm. Redemption. But, but uh, we have instances where people talk about, I have been born again 15 times. Especially those people who are, <laughs> who are in high school. <laughs> How do you believe? <laughs> you know, even in, in John 3, when Jesus was explaining unto Nicodemus, yeah. you need to be born again. Mm-hmm. Born and again. Nicodemus was like, Rabbi, can you explain it to me very well? Born again. You mean I have to go into my mother's womb and then be... Oh, no, no. Jesus said it so well. Born again. When you got born again, you got born again once. Mm-hmm. There is no another born again so it's just like how you got once. born by your mom yes it's That's once how salvation is when you believe faith is acted upon in your heart and then salvation happens okay all time so my viewers you can hear that you've been saying that uh, there's nothing like that you the moment you believed in christ the first time Ideally, if, if that is that was to be true then that means then you were never born because if you can say yeah, my mama born me. <laughs> that means you have never been born. Okay. But in this case, once you're born again in Christ by yeah. believing in Him, mm-hmm. that's it. Why is it so easy for people to believe the natural things mm-hmm. than the, the, the things of the spirit? Because there's so, there's no one who have ever said that I've been born by my mom fifteen times. Yeah. That's <laughs> not natural. Okay. The, the the only thing that they can attribute everything spiritual to is mm-hmm. natural. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if we go deeper and explain to them that you have been born once and for all, your sins are forgiveness, it is so hard for them to understand. Mm -hmm. Because they are trying to relate the love of God with the love that they get here on earth, Mm -hmm. which which are way too different things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So these things you're talking about, as we continue talking about these things, about the new creation, you said old things have gone away, all things are new. And now these are the things that you're talking about, the new things. Mm -hmm obtained a redemption through his blood, forgiveness of sins. Mm-hmm. I, I would like us again to talk about that forgiveness because uh, there's someone who thinks like uh, God waits. <laughs> I was given an, illustra- an illustration on the, another day of how people think salvation is because religion makes people think like salvation is something like uh, 
you get born again today, your name is written in the book of life. Then you mess tomorrow, you, you lie, and then they, rub your name. they rub your name. <laughs> then you confess in the evening before you sleep, they write your name. That's, that's, that's a joke. <laughs> so until you confess, you cannot be forgiven. You are calling it a joke? It's a joke, man. It's a joke. <laughs> but it's a big joke. But you know, there, there are so many religions that are built on that joke. A lot of religions are built on that. And, mm. and again, I think it's, you know, it, it all stems from their understanding of who God is. If you know who your father is, mm -hmm. you know what he's able to do. Like right now, I know who my father is. Okay, yeah. let's, let's even just choose the example of a of a, of a carnal and natural father. Mm -hmm. Your father loves you, and he has he has he has set ways in which to raise you well mm -hmm. before even you decided to persuade him to do so. So to God, it is even much more bigger than that because even the good things that our earthly fathers do, the Bible regards it as evil. Mm. Okay. Because it calls them it your fathers who are evil. It can't match, you know, the love that God has for us. Yeah. It can't. Mm. On a million scales, it can't. So uh, this wrong idea is as, as a result of uh, wrong information and wrong, wrong knowledge and wrong teaching about our father. About our father. Okay. So forgiveness is once. It's not a result of confession, daily confession. And you don't even pray for you to be forgiven. Mm -hmm. uh, immediately believe in him. All the all the blessings, all the spiritual blessings that you have had Apostle Paul talking about there in verse 2, they actually become in yours. Mm. A reality to you. It's a reality. a reality. They are no longer a promise mm -hmm. now. They yeah. are reality to you. Mm -hmm. They are promise to them that have not yet believed in Christ. Mm -hmm. Though they are their promises, but now you have to believe it so that you, you know, you 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 accustom yourself to it, mm -hmm. and it becomes a reality to you. You step into reality. Yeah. Yes, let's continue talking about the new creation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I heard you talking about uh, forgiveness of sins, and I thought maybe you can read in Hebrews chapter eight verse six, and it talks about a number of things. But let's start from verse six. But now had he that is Christ, mm -hmm. obtained a more excellent ministry yeah. by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant. Mm. There's only one mediator then. Mm. We don't have a lot of mediators. Only one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, which was established upon better promises. We have just read a few things in uh, Ephesians 1 verse 2. Verse 1, 2, 3, Kendelea, mm -hmm. concerning the better promises that we have in Christ. Yeah. Redemption through his blood, forgiveness of sins, okay, uh, accepted in the beloved, joint heirs with Christ. Mm -hmm. All those are the better promises that we are backed upon. Mm -hmm. All of that. Mm, for if the first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. Mm -hmm. That clearly tells you that. The first covenant was not the mind of God. Mm -hmm. Because if it was the mind of God, then it could have, it could have ended there. But mm. it was not ideal for That is not what God wanted for man. Mm. It's just like your father wants you to, to be a good boy and score grades and do all kind of good things so that he can feed you. <laughs> no, no. So for finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I make a new covenant with the house of Israel and yeah. the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant and regarded them not. So in verse 12, actually, verse uh, 12. Let's skip verse 10 and 11, verse 12 it says, mm -hmm. I will be merciful to their unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no, no more. more. See? Mm -hmm. No more. I remember no more. No more. Yeah. Stawai kufikiria tena. Meaning it has passed away. Mm. As far as you're concerned, anytime you go and pray and talk to your father, the issue of sin is a non-issue at all. If you decide to remind him, Father, I'm sorry I did this today in the morning, he will be like, Talking about again. Mm -hmm. I, I thought this so you're talking about bad. God forget, forgetting. Yeah. He, he says he remember you know, them. It's no. like you are the one who can remember it, and then God is forgetting. He's the one who is forgetting. So you're trying to remind God, you know? No. <laughs> this is serious. This is serious. So <laughs> I'm trying to imagine God forgetting. Mm. 
So there are things that God will not remember. Never. And your sins, your lawless deeds, your iniquities. It remembers no more. Wow. Forever and ever. Mm-hmm. As long as you are concerned. As long as Christ Jesus is our mediator. Mm. For him to remember, that means he's alive. And God can never be alive. Yeah. And all these are benefits of the, the new creation, man. New creation, man. So the only way to experience this is when you are now in Christ. Believe. Being yeah, as we said in our first episode, it's about believing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then, then this is big. I think salvation is greater than what they told us. <laughs> and it is much more simpler than what you see people, you know, trying to parade salvation is. Because, mm-hmm. you know, you see a lot of people having a lot of burdens, you know, trying to perfect their salvation, trying to do all sorts of things in order to make it right with God. But in the first place, we have been made right with God by Christ's blood. Mm-hmm. We are one with Him, wall to wall with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. How how much more interesting can it get? Okay. Mm-hmm. There's something you just said there. One with Him. Mm-hmm. Can you get into that and tell us what that means? One with Him. So. So the new creation is one with God. It's one with God. Mm. One with God. You know. It all goes back to the issue of sin after the transgression of Adam happened and then there was, you know, there are the laws, blah, 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 all of that. In the, you know, when, when Adam fell, mm. the Bible says it so well, uh, that there was a disconnection between God and man. Mm. But in the real sense, God has always loved us, even at our worst. The disconnection was in our hearts. Mm-hmm. We thought that God was coming after us to punish us. Mm-hmm. But in the first place, God was never coming after us to punish us. Yeah. As our father, I mean, what he wanted to do was to embrace us and to love us more. Mm-hmm. But the heart of man was hardened. Okay, <clears throat> So they thought that God was after punishing them and all that. So there was a disconnection and all that. So when Christ came and offered himself for us, mm. he, he destroyed that, uh, you know, that... Uh, that thought that man had because he realized that Christ not only came as God to mm. pay for us, mm-hmm. he also came as us because the work that he was doing was not for himself. Mm-hmm. He is not, he is not the one who sinned, you know, as Peter would say in him was no sin. Mm-hmm. As John would say, he did no sin. Yeah. Okay. The sin that he died for was ours. Yeah. And so having come and died for all of that, it was him united with us but doing the work for us okay okay you're you're following yeah yeah so we, we were joined with him in his uh sufferings in his crucifixion in his death and in his burial and when he rose again mm-hmm. we also rose again with him because wow. you see the work was for us mm. in him yeah okay so we were one with him so when you believe in him that actually makes it a reality for you the reality of you being with him through all the stages of, of, of salvation mm. and all the things that he went through for salvation. So he didn't go through all this for himself and by himself. We were joined with him. Yeah. We became partakers of this because the Bible says if when he died, mm. we died with him. Mm. When he was buried, he died our death. <laughs> died our death. Yeah. And when he was buried, we were buried with him. Mm. And he was raised. when he was raised, we were raised with him. To to glory and uh, Ephesians 2, chapter 2, verse 6 says that uh, we have been raised, we have been made to sit together with him in the heavenly places. So that is the, the point of oneness. That is oneness. And this oneness cannot be... It can never be broken. It is a serious oneness. It's a serious eternal affair, whether anyone likes it or not. Mm. Once born again, forever born again. Wow. That's it. Hey, this is interesting. This is very nice. And uh, there's someone who is watching us and uh, he's in a, po- in a place where uh, he's confused about these things of salvation. Mm-hmm. And uh, through this program of this sharing, there's mm-hmm. some light that has been shed to them. Mm-hmm. And uh, I want you to speak to that person mm-hmm. as you look at that camera. Mm-hmm. You speak to them and tell them mm-hmm. this simplicity of salvation because they feel like salvation is a burden. They have, because many people had Jesus calling and saying, come unto me, ye that are heavy laden. But when they came to church, mm. 
they were added some more burdens. <laughs> yes. And they realized like before I got born again, <laughs> I was doing better than now. Because now masheria zimekuwa mingi, ma demands zimekuwa mingi, wazazi juu nini, ma, 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 ma pastors juu wanataka nini. What can you say to that person? I said to you what Jesus told you. Mm. Come to him, you who are heavy laden, and he'll give you rest. The only thing you need to do is just believe upon him. Okay? Just believe on his work for you. And that settles it. There's no more work to be done. Okay. Easy stories are you know, <laughs> trying to perfect yourself by following laws and regulations. Elisha Aisha. You know, it is it is grace, free gift of God, unmerited kindness of God mm. shed to you. All wow. you have to do is believe. Believe. Yeah. Wow. Believe. Mm. You've heard it for yourself. Just believe. So our time is up and uh, I would like you to say the final words. Mtu waki sahau everything else that you have said. One thing you like them to remember. If you forget each and everything that I've said, remember one thing, God loves you. Two, Christ wants you well. Mm-hmm. He doesn't want you to walk around trying to stress yourself to make it right with him. He has already made it right with you by his blood. All you have to do is uh believe in him amen well this has been uh, beholding christ show and uh, my name is ben fetcher asante sana and uh, we've been blessed to have you i will call you another time thank you for being with us tonight and uh, i want to pray for you father we are so delighted today thank you for our viewers tonight we call them blessed in christ jesus how we pray that by the help of the holy spirit these truths will be established in their hearts and not be and they will not be moved to and fro but they will be established and rooted and built up in your word and their lives will be established in you and they cannot be swayed from this truth i thank you to those that are feeling unwell you were healed more than 2000 years ago take your healing now those families are blessed everything that you do is blessed because you are in christ jesus and it is in jesus name we pray and we give thanks amen